I think these are some excited boys and girls. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> they want to make their way down that aisle. They are raring to go. They look awesome. They look great. We had the privilege the last couple of months of working with these boys and girls and spending time with them. And we love every one of them. And uh, all of them just bring such a special uh, part to what we're doing into this uh, presentation. Uh, the presentation is called uh, The Present is the Future. And the boys and girls that are over here uh, are at uh, their Sunday school teacher's house, so to speak. And uh, they are going to have to solve a mystery. Now, you'll hear all this in the presentation, but sometimes it's best if you kind of have a little bit of a heads up. But uh, they've gone to their Sunday school teacher's house, and at the Sunday school teacher's house, uh, they're approached by someone, if you'll see in a few moments, and he's telling them that they have to figure out a, uh, a ministry. And so that's what they're going to be in the process, and that's what they're going to be doing. There'll be a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. Some of you may be tempted to stand up and dance with them, right? Amen? Amen. Don't do that. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I'll probably tell myself, because I'll probably be standing and dancing in a few moments, too. Because uh, it is great. We love the music and uh, this is a great presentation. We want to welcome all of you here and uh, so glad to see you. you. know a lot of you are visiting with us and uh, we uh, just want to welcome you to Crossroads. Uh, I want to take just a second. I know it's very, very crowded in here. You don't have to turn. You don't have to go very far. But just stand where you are. Maybe turn and tell someone that you're just glad to be here at God's house today. Just take a few moments in fellowship for just a second. And then we'll be our program. If you'll just stand, find someone, shake a hand, and hug your neck. Just tell me that to be your process.
Good evening, and welcome to the Mystery Ranch. Isn't this our Sunday school teacher's house? Pish Posh. Pish Posh? What is it? Pish Posh. Something like that. Minor details, minor details. Focus, everyone. As I was saying, welcome to the Ministry Mansion. Now then, you all received your letter? Will you please take it out and read it aloud? Dear, Dear Angelique, you have all received a gift, a present from above. This holiday is as serious and much you can think of. The answer to this riddle I propose before you now. What is the gift that Christmas brings us on a dairy cow? A dairy cow? <laughs> details, details. Serious, so serious, close is not good with poetry. It rhymes, okay? <laughs> Focus on the riddle part. The part before that. What is the gift that Christmas brings? Ah, uh, yes, you are the smart one. <laughs> so as you can see clearly from your letter, you've all been called here because you're mysterious host. Our Sunday school teacher? Ahem. <clears throat> Focus, please. As I was saying, your mysterious host seems to think you can solve this most mystifying Christmas riddle. This is kind of lame. I think it's exciting. I don't like my own mysteries. <laughs> oh. Oh, don't worry, Helen. There's a logical explanation for everything under the sun. But it's like, there's no sun here. Well, nothing scares me. Let's hear it. Inside your letter, you will find a picture clue. Please look at them now. I love presents. I never get presents. A candlestick. A rope. A telescope. A fire book. A nail. A staff. A hook. I think. Wait a minute, does everyone hear a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear my mom calling me. I think I've got to go. Stay calm, stay calm. Focus, people, focus. Not exactly. But I can assure you, you are all perfectly safe. Now on to the riddle. In each room of this municipal mansion, you will find a Christmas clue. Each clue will point you toward the answer of this riddle. The answer, I warn you, is life-changing. When you guess it, you hear the bells from heaven ringing. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> now we know the strikes 12 noon to solve this mystery. That's less than an hour! That's right. Good luck and pay attention to the clues. I'll leave the way. Bye, who put you in charge? Why not? I'm doing everything and I can prove it. <laughs> you mean you pretend to be good at everything? You're kind of sure. Kind of nothing. nothing. He's a shark. All right. Now let's not move aside. That's scary. Look, our first clue. Who has the staff? Who has the rod? I know. I told you I should be the leader. I have to. I think it's hard to Shepard, use it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look, look, there's my clue, a choir book. 